and gentlemen, on behalf of the captain and crew, welcome aboard this flight. We hope you enjoy flying with us today. Before takeoff, we encourage you to watch our cabin crew display the safety features of this aircraft. Ladies and gentlemen, please pay attention to the cabin crew while we display the safety features and procedures of this aircraft in case of an emergency. In an emergency, please remain in your seat with your seat belt fastened. In case of a drop in cabin pressure, oxygen masks will deploy from the panels overhead. Pull the oxygen mask towards you and place over your head. The mask can be tightened by pulling on the straps at the front of the mask. The bag may not inflate even though oxygen is flowing. If there is smoke in the cabin, the walkway emergency lighting will display to the exits, which are located here and here. In case of an extreme emergency landing, you will be instructed to get into the brace position, which is executed by placing your head between your knees with your hands over your head. We would also like to remind you that all electronic devices should be turned off for takeoff and that mobile phones must not be used for the duration of the flight. We thank you for your attention during this brief presentation. Ladies and gentlemen, here is your captain on board speaking. My name is Jean-Pierre Pribillois. We are flying on the Boeing 737-800. We just uh, left uh, uh, Bratislava from uh, Slovakia and uh, we will be landing in approximately 11 minutes uh, and 44 seconds at uh, Schwetschat uh, Airport uh, in Austria. As you may know, this aircraft is a second-hand aircraft, so it's an old one. So, um, meanwhile, we are flying. I will present you our uh, staff crew. We have Jessica, who is our main hostess. She is uh, inaugurating her, her uh, first flight today. And we have uh, Stephen, who is our uh, flight attendant. Unfortunately, yesterday he has been eating too much and today he's not feeling very well, so he keeps running all the time at the toilet. So, uh, if you would like to exp excuse me, ladies and gentlemen, I have to fix my chair, which is not uh, very well state. One moment, please. Okay, now it sounds so that uh, it's working much better. What about Stephen? What is he doing? I don't hear his voice. Uh, if, you don't, if you don't mind, I think we're going to have to stop right now. I think I'm going to be sick. Okay, Stephen, just take your time. I know that you're not feeling very well. Oh, my poor Stephen. Okay, let's hope that you're going to feel better now in a couple of minutes. Well, I really wish to not be in his place. What about you, Jessica? I'm sorry I'm not on top form today, Captain. I really didn't need that second bottle of Chardonnay last night. Well, Jessica, please don't abandon me. You have to work because uh, I'm the only person who is flying this uh, aircraft. So please take care of what you're doing. I just take, said to take care of what you're doing. Please don't break the trays. Well, here we go. This is the second tray that you are breaking. Stephen, are you feeling better? Well, I don't know what to say. Jessica, please take your time and take care of what you are doing. 
Captain. I've got your sandwiches here. Hope tuna mayo is okay with you. No, Jessica, I don't feel like eating sandwiches in this moment. I'm too busy piloting this aircraft. <sighs> Jessica, I told you to walk slowly and take care about the tray. Just look in front of you, please. I've got your hot meal here, Captain. I hope it's better than yesterday. Well, Jessica, yesterday you were not with me on the same aircraft. There was Tatiana, and I must tell you that Tatiana is cooking much better than you. So please take care of what you're doing. Here we go again. People are complaining about the choice of in-flight movies. I don't know what's wrong with the airport movies myself. Well, if you don't know about movies, please just switch on the movie and don't complain. I really don't like these long flights. Wow, though, it's so beautiful. I can't believe it's so sunny above the clouds. Well, look, there is no sun. I've just met an old couple who are going on holiday for their 50th wedding anniversary. It's so romantic. Are you married, Captain? Jessica, please make your own business and don't ask too many questions, please. Here we go again. I'm sorry for Steven. As you see, he has been eating too many artichokes yesterday. I'm sorry that you are uh, listening to all this funny noise. Steven, are you alright? Jessica, please. Jessica, is that you? Are you planning anything special when we get to our destination, Captain? You can come shopping with me if you want. No, I don't want to make any shopping with you, please. Stay quiet for a couple of minutes. Just uh, please be patient and look if there is uh, any doctor on board. Captain, we have a whole family who've got a stomach bug and have been sick everywhere. It's completely disgusting. I really hope no one else gets ill. Jessica, please say to those passengers to join uh, Stephen at the toilet. It's the only way that uh, we can have some peace. Jessica, look, we are nearly to land, so please stay quiet and don't talk. This is my alarm clock. I'm sorry, people. Ladies and gentlemen, we are about to land at Switchart Airport. Please fasten your seat belts. I hope that uh, the aircraft will not uh, be losing any bit and parts during the landing. Oh, don't be so scared, ladies and gentlemen. Stephen, are you okay?
here ladies and gentlemen thank you for watching this video and I hope that you have enjoyed flying with us my name is Jean-Pierre Prébillois you may contact me at jpp812 at yahoo.com you are always welcome here we go with Jessica How many trays did you broke tonight, Jessica, during this flight? Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have landed and uh, our flight is ending just in this moment. Thank you for watching. Jessica, no, please.